Paul Feuerstein. I'm technology editor of Dentistry Today. And I'm here with a good old friend, Dave Ronto. And I have to tell you a story. I mean, I'm the technology editor and I look at high tech things. And I was at a dental meeting a few years ago in Chicago. And I walked there and there's all this high tech stuff, high tech stuff. And there's this guy, Dave, standing there with this thing in his hand going, would somebody please talk to me? And I said, okay, Dave, who are you? What is this all about? Are you a dentist? I mean, what's going on? So give me, tell me, just let's go through what we had. Well, I'll tell you what, it was, it was honestly <laughs> flattering. You know, when I first saw you, you, you actually looked at my booth and you looked at me, you're like, are you for real? What, and what you, is this Yeah, thing? exactly. And you picked up my tube and said, what is this thing? What's going on? You know, and uh, we had a nice conversation and we had a little piece on it and that's kind of where it started. You and, know, it was and fascinating. And I have to tell you, the, the, most, the greatest thing I, I felt was, Here's somebody with a product to bring to dentistry. I didn't ever know what it was, but what an enthusiastic man this was. <laughs> so anyway, let's get to the point. Sure. This is a suction unit, a yep. suction tip of sorts. It looks a little different. This happens to be pink. We'll talk about that in a second. Yeah. But it looks a little different. And tell me how you developed this thing and, and what's well, it all about. I'll tell you what. Basically, I'm a bread and butter dentist. I mean, I practice every day of the week. And uh, I just didn't like the high-speed suction. And just tired of my patients complaining. I was very, very uncomfortable with tongue getting stuck, cheek getting stuck, people can't spit. You know, I have a lot of folks that work, and we're in Michigan, right. and uh, a lot of Whirlpool executives don't like walking back to their meetings all covered in slobber, you know? So uh, I didn't like it, so I changed it basically. Uh, and uh, I came up with a design. I thought, you know what we need is a pressure release, almost like a valve, so to speak. But I didn't know quite how to do it. So literally, I sat down one night after my patients were gone, and I started drilling holes in high-speed suction tubes. Literally, with a one a size one burr, size two burr, size three burr. Little did I know that I was giving, uh, I say the chicken was laying the egg at that point, you know, uh, to a what would finally become the refined version. Uh, after doing some mathematical calculations, because I'm a little bit of a nerd that way, you know, I like to make sure that I, uh, you know, have control over the proportions. The ratio of holes on the side vents in proportion to the holes on the top vent allow you for to have continual suction, and you are never going to be able to get it stuck into the mouth or the cheek or the tongue, and patients can actually close in on it, so you don't need slow speed saliva ejectors. So, technically. so there's a release. So if it, if it hits the cheek, it's going to continue to vacuum. Exactly right. Holes here. And, and if I want to do, if I had a mouthful of water, I could just close my mouth on this. It would just take it out. One of the best things I've complimented from my patients when we're doing demos, they actually were upset during the trial phase. I was trying it out on them, and when we took it away, because I ran out, they're like, uh, Doc, because uh, the only color we had was blue, they're like, where's that blue tip? This other one, I'm getting slobber all over. They, I kind of spoiled them a little bit, but yeah. Well, speaking of blue, this one's pink. Uh, yes, uh, if I can touch on that just briefly. Why don't you, sure. Uh, you know, I work in a small community, and I'm very, very blessed. We work in uh, Southwest Michigan, and uh, two months before I actually, um, when I came up with the idea, uh, two months later, my own mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. And uh, I felt the very important need to give back because I've been very blessed. So not only are the colors cool to have for different uh, areas, uh, you know, people like different colors for their offices, but um, it's whole significance for breast cancer awareness, leukemia awareness, autism, and just good old fashioned for dentistry. But I think it's important to remember that uh, we are all very blessed, and I am as well, to have gotten it this far. Thanks to great people like oh, you guys, you know? Thanks so much. So getting back to the suction itself, yeah. um, it fits the standard size uh, HVAC vacuum, yes. I see. It, um, in fact, if I could stop you for sure. one sec, in fact, one of the prototypes we had a problem with, we had to retool and design a taper to it so it would fit all different kinds oh, I of see. suction Because there is some tubes. variability, of course, there across is. the board. So we've got it tuned in right now where it fits all, it's universal. And how, how, how are these sold? Are they sold in packages or, or that's They are I'm sold thinking. in bags of 100. Uh, they're $14.99 for a bag of 100. Wow. And, uh, you know, for 15 cents a tube, you really can't beat it uh, because as of uh, last month, it's been two years, we've not used the saliva ejector and it's replaced you know, our material costs. And so it's, we're selling them basically for about what you would have for both products. And you're selling them directly through yourself? We are currently uh, distributing directly ourselves at this juncture. And uh, we so hope to have some- must be a website. Some, 
Yeah, uh, it's going to be, uh, please visit our website at masssuction.com, M-A-S-S suction.com. Uh, uh, and if you come to Boston, we can call that the Massachusetts suction. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good market. M-A-S-S suction, okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But it's from Michigan, so don't get confused. That's correct. <laughs> Dave, Very good. this has been unbelievable. Well, I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for you and your oh. kind words years ago, uh, and I'll, I'll, if you don't mind me reciting your words. Go right ahead. <laughs> of all of the entire products, sir, Years spurred the most interest by me, and that motivated me, and I'll never forget those words. So and for a plastic tube with holes in it, <laughs> I'm glad I got your attention, David, brother. Thank you so much. Thank it's you been very much. It's a real much. pleasure.